Hi everyone, this video is sponsored by OneFootball. OneFootball is the app that you all need. We all have it here at Newcastle Fans TV to get all the latest information on Newcastle United and the Premier League. And January is going to be huge as well with the January transfer window. Make sure you download OneFootball to get all the latest information on incomings and outgoings on Newcastle United. Newcastle Fans TV. Yes, hello everybody. As you've seen Johnny there, we are sponsored by One Football. Uh, but it's not a great afternoon in the history of Newcastle United because this will go down with your Harrowfords, this will go down with your Stevenages. Cambridge have came and put Newcastle out the cup and there's a lot of performances out there which we are going to discuss. Not many are going to score high. And Johnny, you've got the wonderful honour of starting with our goalkeeper. I was surprised it was Martin Dubravkov, to be honest. Because uh, I thought he might be rested for the game next week. Tim, I thought maybe Darlow or Woodman. Well, it's the goal you've got to look at. Bit of a calamity. Real bit of calamity defending. And Dubravka doesn't really shine in that at all. Apart from that, he didn't really have a lot to do. He was just rolling the ball out of Fabian Scher or John Joe Shelby. And that was really about it for, for Dubravka. But that goal, you've got to look and go, well, surely can my goalkeeper do a bit better? I'm going, I'm going three out of ten for Dubravka today. Yeah, and he was injured for the rest of the game, wasn't he? Hoblum, so we'll have to see if that's a serious injury. But um, I've got the lucky one. I've got Kieran Trippier because I'm going to go right to left, making his debut. I was a little bit surprised, actually. Um, I didn't think he would start. But um, showed some nice touches, talking to Krath to his left and talking to Frey, as I think you can see, there's a leadership there. Look, it's not his greatest game. I think he will have a lot better games. All 11 will. But I think Kieran Trippier is probably one of the better players today, even though he was average. So I'm just going to score him slap down in the middle of five, uh, ten. I think he's not the one to point the finger at today. And then we'll move to the centre-backs, Johnny. It was Emil Krath, who was a part of the goal. So was Fabian Shea, to be fair. But oh, so many. It's it's just a catalogue throughout okay. the season. It's a catalogue of errors. It's, this is almost a reality check because against Manchester, against Manchester United, we were talking about the fact that these players actually, they could be good enough. They could be good enough from now at the end of the season. And then they get shown up by a League One side today who, let's be honest, caused problems in the second half. Um, they're number nine. I, I, I pointed them out in the preview, Ironside. Yeah, Ironside who actually got the goal, I think, in the end. So, look, it's just really poor. And, you've, and if you're putting yourself up against these sort of players, you've got to think, well, I need you to be doing better. There's, you can have the, the majority of the ball, but you need to be, win your battles. <sighs> four out of ten. No, I think you've been kind. Um, if you score on four for Fabian Shea as well, I'll just, go, I'll just match it. I think we are being kind to centre backs, to be honest. But captain wasn't obviously playing today. Maybe he was just rested, probably. Jamal Lascelles doesn't normally pick up injuries. I think that's probably just been rested for this game. But like I say, we said at the match reaction, it's a very strong side that we're going through. A lot of these players are first team regulars. The majority of them are, not all of them. Um, Matt Ritchie. Attacking wise, didn't really offer much. Defensive wise, didn't wasn't really tested. But. Another, another player that's just not good enough for Newcastle, but it's going to get games at the minute because he we don't have a... He, oh, I th was that an injury? That nah, was? I think it was just a bit of fresh legs, but... Got Mankiel, though. But who else? He, well, I know we would have said, bring on your Ali Andersons, your Joe White, yeah, put down Stevenson, beats. but Mankiel at left back, is that really going to make a difference? I know he's Martin Matt Ritchie, so... Um, tough again. I'm going to get four and a half. But I think he's. I don't think he's at fault for the goal, so that's why I'm going to give him a half a mark yeah. more. Yeah. So there's the defence. We're moving to centre midfield. Um, Shelby. I didn't expect him to start. I thought it might be Hendrick. To be fair, I think Hendrick might have got to run out, but um, got on the ball a lot because we had to get a goal back. A couple of spray balls, but a couple of lofted balls, but fought. a lot of the ball. But yeah, he did. But did he do much with it? But then again. The problem that I, had, that I think that like, he didn't have much in front of him to run. No, he didn't. There wasn't any movement, and that's where we miss a Wilson or a or a Gale and do their movement. But yeah, Shelby because of that four out of ten. You got his crime partner Sean Longstaff who was substituted. He was shocking, Johnny. Um, I completely agree. Completely agree. Um, just I can't believe like it was a different. It was almost like watching a different player against Sean Man United. Longstaff against the lead one side. I, I I just don't get it today. Um, just looked off it, looked, just, looked, just, just looked off it in every sense and just didn't really, like he could have given away um, a big, big opportunity from a poor pass 
wasn't looking, wasn't looking. We've, we've seen that before from Sean Longstaff, unfortunately. Um, Three. I think I'm probably being a bit nice. I'm being a bit nice, but I just don't know what he really brought to the table today. Yeah, and his future. He's that rumoured bid with Everton and his contract's running down. I've said it already. I'm happy for Sean Longstaff to leave. I've had enough of him. There's, no, there's, a, there's a few of them that I've had enough of as well. Um, and then if we look at Joe Lytton, not his greatest game. He has been phenomenal the last three or four. Didn't see enough of him on the ball. Didn't see enough of his power getting forward. I think Cambridge stopped that. So Joe Lytton poor. Um, maybe Eddie Howe could have put him up top. Maybe have that extra man up later on the game. But four out of ten for Joe Lytton. Um, Should have, it was unlucky at the end, I have to mention that. So yeah, it, it was a great header. Very unlucky. Their goalkeeper played really, really well. And then we'll move forward. Um, I'll let you have Alan St. Maximum. Shocking. And I'm, and I'm for Alan St. Maximum standards, shocking. Stop fanning around with it. Release that the ball. Game? This season, yeah. 100%. And it's against League One. 100%. But the, the problem is, if one or two have an off day and another two have an off day, especially with us going forward, he's our biggest threat at the minute because there's no Callum Wilson. I'm sorry, that was absolutely pathetic performance. Release the ball so much earlier, with so many times. Came on just doubling up on him and nicking like nicking him off like crosses and it was going off for goal kicks. Some poor efforts on goal. Absolutely shocking performance man St. Maximum today. I'm putting him on power Sean Longstaff today. I'm putting three out of ten for St. Maximum. Anybody else can say why what he what he what he'd done today. I'm kind of that one, I think. But the thing he's got he's had ninety minutes there. He's had ninety minutes in a game which we probably didn't expect. I didn't expect him, really. I thought he was injured still. Th three out of ten. Yeah. Ryan Fraser. Puffed and puffed. Didn't blow any houses down that we've used that phrase before on the channel. But um didn't see enough. I think I think he's gotta be twos and threes, so I'll go three out of ten for Ryan Fraser and he needs he needs to perform to stay in the side to stay ahead of Miggy, but Fraser doesn't play well and Miggy's not great either. You know, there's a position there that probably needs strengthen, but we need obviously we can talk about transfers and what have you, but if I missed who's if I missed off. Jacob Murphy. I'll let you have him. Not good enough. He's not going to score a couple low hands, shouldn't he? He had a goal that's allowed for offside, but time you run better. Time you run better. For me, he's just, again, another player who's just not quite good enough for Newcastle United. And today, he started out on the wing. Um, he obviously hit the crossbar in the first half as well, so that's probably, but he's, again, not good enough. Not as bad as St. Maxim. He played like an hour up top. Yeah, I don't think that's his he natural said, no, position. He's playing now, he played like. Half, he's the half the game that he was playing, he played yeah. probably on the, in the middle. He switched to St. Maximum, but for me, I would, I, he's, he was better than St. Maximum, just he had obviously hitting the crossbar, but not much better. Um, four out of ten. I miss anybody else off on that? No, it's 11. That's 11. The substitutes had a good 25 to half an hour. Uh, I'll start with Joe Willock. Um, showed a couple of nice flicks to get past a couple of players. Joe Willock can't even get in the side, man. And we're struggling, we've only won one game all season. And the Galad who scored tons of goals last season, that's an art's more reserved role. You can't even get in this side anymore, so Longstaff's getting ahead of him. And this is the strongest side that possible that Eddie Howe's put out. Joe Blick's on the bench against League One side. And going forward, have a shock. Get in the box like you used to. We're losing for fuck's sake. So three out of ten for Joe Willick. I didn't think you off an out. And you've got Miggy. Good luck. I've always been on the fence with Miggy in terms of not not in terms of the rating, just in, in terms of the future of Newcastle United because there is something in there. But today, he was so far off it, so far off it, and it sums it up when he cuts down his left foot. and You think, just don't shoot, even though we need him oh, to shoot, sure. even though we don't we don't want, we don't we need some sort of shot. Don't shoot because we know exactly where it's going. And it went out. I don't know. If, I think it might even went for a throw in. It was that far close to the corner flag. It doesn't offer you anything. Passing. Trying to link up with Willock down the right hand side and um, next to where I was today. Absolutely shocking. He's just, again, not good enough. Not good enough. Again, the, the only thing I'll stick up for him though is when he was coming in field, he had no movement. He was like, What do I do? What do I do? He was like, I don't it's know Cambridge where. It's Cambridge United. He's like, How would clip it through? Or how, how are we it's Cambridge United. United. You've got to have a bit of, bit of knowledge, a bit of sense, a bit of something. He's got to have movement, he's got to do something. He's all, uh, it's your score. Two and a half. Two and a half, and Mankyo really only got what ten minutes. I don't think so, it's not a just about. 
He's probably one of the better players, to be <laughs> fair. He didn't do much wrong, but uh, not applicable for um, Javier Manquillo. And this one's going to be interesting, Johnny, because this is probably going to be Eddie Howe's worst score all season. I said to you before in the match reaction, I said it off camera, if this was Steve Bruce, we would have wanted him out. We kind of said Eddie Howe, and he's only just coming to the job. He'll not. But this was Eddie Howe in 12 months' time. Newcastle was struggling, but pretend that we don't have any money, we'll, we'll call for his head. So I think that performance is the worst, including Steve Bruce this season. In no. terms of the, no, no, not the performance, no. the results, sorry. The results, the the worst, results yeah. is the worst, sorry. That is simply not good enough. It's a hell of a side that he's put out, strong side that should be competing in the Premier League with that starting 11 on its own. It should be at least competing, winning the championship. That's, that starting 11 would win the championship easily even though I haven't got a recognised striker. Going out at home, full house, got booed off as well for the first time. No point five out of 10 for me. There's doubts, there's doubts, because you can't play such a strong team. And we're talking strong team. You look at what was on the bench, you've seen a couple of players that were out. This is one of the strongest Newcastle United 11s that he could have put out today. And he, I wouldn't say put all his eggs in one basket because the Premier League is still the priority and always will be this season. But when you've got the chance to play a team a couple of divisions below with a strong it's team... It's a perfect tie. It's a perfect tie. You, if we hadn't picked a tie, would have gone someone like Cambridge at home in the third round. Um, but tactically, I thought, we ran out of, I thought we ran out of ideas. I thought we Did really ran out of ideas. And I just thought it was, just, it was kind of like... If Cambridge were in it a goal, we would find it very, very difficult, and they did, and we did find it very, very difficult, and their keepers barely had to do anything. You made two subs early, that's probably the only thing. But they didn't do you now. Do you know what it is? What harm would it have put... An Ali Anderson or a Joe White on over a Joe it looks Willico, worse or, now or Joe Willico and Miguel Miron. It looks worse because we've gone out a full, si full strength side, the best that we can put out. And then you've got two kids on the bench who haven't got a kick, and now it's easy to see it on hindsight why didn't they start? You can easily see that, but I can understand Eddie how 1 0 down, we're going out the cup, you're not going to pick them, are you? you no, know? no, of course I, I get that, but we've seen enough of Willigan and Miron this season to say. Well, they haven't been good enough. One of them should start. Elliot Anderson should start at least in that number ten. It's it's, it's one of those discussions that we're going to have, and that it's look, it's a, it's a big big week now, Freddie. How we need it, we need a response next week. But in, in regards to this performance, what do you give? 0.5? 0.5. And I'm just being kind on that. I can't really justify going any higher, so I'll go 0.5. Go down is one of the worst. This will be talked about. This will be all out with the TV. And you know, when you see them clips on BBC in five years' time, they always show the Hereford one. Yeah. Ronnie Rodford for miles out, and they always show the Stevenage one, and this will be. But Lee, this is just it, this is just where we are right now at the minute. Twelve months time, we'll look at this result and go, and this is this. We hope to look back and go, this was the point where Newcastle United moved on and started being a serious football club. At the minute, we're at the very early steps. We shouldn't be losing to Cambridge at any at any stage of, of being a football club as, no, as, as the size of Newcastle United. But we have to maybe look at this result and go, do you know what? We're a million miles better than that, but. And fingers crossed this is the starting point for Newcastle where the owners are looking at it. We'll talk more on that in the last word. But, um, that is scoring the players. We're not very happy. Um, I know it's difficult if you can't smash that like because we are freezing cold. Smash the like. Thank you.